We are getting so close to being able to read EKGs. We need to start drawing pictures of electrical activity and what we're going to do is make a couple of rules and uh, the first one is going to be that every time we read an EKG we are going to have a our sensor the thing that picks it up will be sitting right down here kind of like an eyeball it's going to be looking at the heart in this direction rule number one is going to be let's see let's put rule number one over here one if it sees electricity move towards it then the deflection will go up when the def when the electricity ends the deflection will come back down again rule number two is if it sees electricity move away from the eyeball the deflection will go down and when the electricity ends it'll come back up here like this rule number three is going to be more electricity equals more deflection. So if we have a little bump like that and a big bump like this, we know that this one is more electricity and more tissue relative to this. Okay, let's uh move down here and we'll start again here we have our eyeball and it's looking at at the heart we're going to go through a normal conduction so as the electricity moves from SA to AV we would expect there to be a bump up but then the electricity goes into the AV node and the eyeball can't see it anymore and so it goes down like this. We know that the AV hangs on to it for about one-tenth of a second so we have this flat line and then it sends the electricity down the bundle branches that's moving towards the eye so we get a deflection up and it's going to move away like this and now we have to get a deflection down and then the electricity ends and then this thing happens that's kind of hard to explain unless you think back to the movement of ions which is really all we're measuring here now before the ventricles can conduct any more impulses they're going to have to move all that potassium and sodium back where it came from and so there will be a hump like this and that is merely the movement of potassium back into the cells and the movement of sodium back out so that we can do another little bump big bump that's over and over and over again let's give some names to these things this one this little bump is going to be called a P wave this entire structure that I am going around here this entire structure is called the QRS complex and then this structure is called the T wave so again we have a P a QRS and a T and these are the the components of an EKG. So let's go on to the next video and start talking about EKG paper, measuring the time of these things, etc.